This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right. So T Pain was on with the uh, academics the other night, and uh, he was talking about uh, well, that Khaled conversation came up, and T Pain's been vocal about this before. DJ Khaled. He's notorious for using people, okay? This is how we got in the game. Um, I feel like maybe even I was used by DJ Cal. It still owes me 2,500 to this day, okay? He embraces you like his friend. Uh, a lot of people were using DJ Khaled for, you know, doing songs with him uh, on his first few albums because he was on the radio. If you didn't know that, he was a big radio person and people needed their radios play their songs played in miami he was one of the biggest radio djs dj Khaled really embraced t-pain during the height of his career did songs like you know go hard uh i'm so hood all i do is win wrote fed up for him there's tons there's tons of dj Khaled and t-pain songs t-pain is a good person t-pain if he's your friend, he's jumping on the hooks. He's doing everything, okay? Um, T-Pain said, I never really got to benefit from Khaled playing my records on the radio because, you know, a lot of them were certified, didn't need the help. And then later when they needed the help, he was nowhere to be found because what DJ Khaled did is he replaced T-Pain with Future. Now, Future's super dope, and T-Pain admittedly says Future's dope. But he just felt slighted, like, like, DJ Khaled just they, he thought he was friends with DJ Khaled, you know, and he was warning DJ Khaled that, hey, not everybody's your friend. I think he was mostly talking about Plows because Plows was notorious for using people back then, you know. Uh, so Plows did some dirty stuff to everybody, Rick Ross, everybody, you know, like he Plows had a bad track record back then. Um, he was kind of cocky. So <coughs> anyways. T-Pain talks about, you know, nobody got paid on these records. People got their publishing and everything. But, you know, Khaled was notorious for using people and he felt like he was used. And Khaled didn't reciprocate the love. I mean, look how Khaled did Ace Hood, you know. Uh, he did put Ace Hood in the game. Thought he could make a star. Did two albums that flopped. Then Ace Hood got his own hit. Jumped up right back on him with the, the hustle 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 you know the hustle song and it's like then Calo just dropped him like hot potato after a while you know like you know after a while uh he, he got big on snapchat and and just dropped Movado. everybody he was messing with it was uh, i think of all the artists he had and then they're all where are they he has no artists anymore they're gone they're gone Calo's not a great per Calo is Calo is the epitome of an industry guy Okay, epitome of an industry person. He's not your friend. He's not this or that. He's not the best guy in the world. He's selfish. It's about him and his family, and that's it. I experienced this firsthand. You know, I'm not bitter or anything. I mean, you know, it's just like you know. I thought we were cool. You know, I did him a lot of favors. Like, yo, can you do this for me? This is a rich guy that drive, drove in a Rolls Royce Phantom. You know, and I thought like, okay, like. I'll do him a favor here and there. And guess what? Like, I would do things for cheaper and stuff. Guess what? He didn't pay me for certain things that I did, for certain services I performed. He just pretended, oh, I got to do this. Gotta, you know, like uh, with his artist, Red Rum. I remember he never paid for that. And it was just stupid. You know, it was like, wow. Like, I was more like insulted because I know how, you know, it's like, geez, dude, you have like tons of money. You can't just pay me the small amount of just for my time that's all i wanted it for i wasn't like yo i wasn't even making money on the thing i was probably losing money doing those videos because but i thought the guy was talented i thought red rum was talented also and it was fun working with him i had a lot of fun but still went to virginia for like five days then had to edit the videos we're talking you know a good six days you know six or seven days total of your life you know gone I I charged him twenty five hundred for that. I could have charged anybody else ten to fifteen thousand dollars around that time, you know. So you know, I did it for him because I was like, okay, he's trying to build somebody up. I gave him a break on Ace Hood in the beginning too, you know. It's like I don't know, Cal is just like not the best person. I'm happy for his success. He has a beautiful family. 
you know, but just be, come on, man, you're super rich, you know, like I, I, I to, to do the screw me, I, I'm not really better about all that. I just saw who he was, but with with, with uh, T Pain, it's like, dude, that guy really like. You really cloud chase with him. You really used him, you know, and and then you're not friends with him now. That's trash, you know. Like a time when it's funny. Like you can help people. Like I helped Two Chains a lot when I came to Atlanta. His name was Titty Boy, you know. It's like these people when you need them later, they're nowhere to be found, you know. Like I could have used a boost at one point, you know, in my career, you know. Um, we all have dips, you know, Yo Gotti, I helped him a lot too. Um, I, I admittedly had a dip in like 2012 or 13 and I needed a little son, you know, I, not, not money. I needed looks. These guys got their looks from me and got into better positions where they had deals with Def Jam and this. Do you think I got the B, even the B level video from Def Jam or something? Or when Yo Gotti signed or wherever, you know, it's like, no. And that would have helped because it brings more light to your brand, you know? Like, sometimes you need that little little boost. It wasn't about money or anything. It's about getting the boost back, you know? Sometimes you need... I, I help... You help these people push forward in their endeavors, like T-Pain did with Khaled. And then, like, sometimes people just don't reciprocate, you know? And that's... I hate it when people do that because it's like... You know, don't forget that you needed... It's supposed to be if you keep the 360 circle going where you keep igniting each other, it keeps the flames going, you know? Anyways, this is Jordan Tell with JT News. Smash the like button. I appreciate you guys. And this is just a life lesson. When I talk about this kind of stuff, know this stuff because this is how people operate in life, okay? And you always got to, like, just cover yourself. I mean, I do to after this, but I was young, super young. I was in my early, you know, I was, like, mid-20s, you know? So... Anyways, Jordan Tower with JT News. Check you guys later. Peace.